John chapter 2, 1 through 3. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage, and his disciples. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto them, they have no wine. Now, of course, this is when Jesus turned water into wine. So it's important that not only Jesus was called in his mother, but the disciples were called too. So when Jesus turned the water to wine, who saw it? His disciples. His disciples. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Now turn with me to Matthew 15. Matthew 15. Verse 31 through 33. Insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak and the lame to be made, made to behold, the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Verse 32. Then Jesus called his disciples, his disciples were there, unto him, and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. Now, first of all, the disciples were with him. And they, saw, they saw the dumb, you know, speak. They saw the lame walk. And now, there's a multitude of people. And they're saying, you know, well, what are we going to do? The disciples saw, saw what Jesus was doing. And then the um, disciples come and said, what are we going to do with all these people? And Jesus, this is when he fed the 5,000. Amen? Amen. So the disciples, what? They saw him. Amen? All right, okay. Now, turn with me to John chapter 3. Remember, Jesus is doing miracles. He's our example. And the disciples saw him. They experienced the miracles that Jesus did. They were seeing him do these great and wonderful things. John chapter 3, verse 2. And not only the disciples, you know, other people were recognizing this too, especially the people who were following him, because everyone knew that if you wanted a miracle, just go to Jesus. So the whole, everybody knew. Amen? Amen? And he didn't fail not one person. Amen. John chapter 3, verse 2. The same came to Jesus by night and said, unto him, Rabbani, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. No man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. So in other words, no one can do these miracles unless God be with him because these are abilities that only God can. Amen? Amen. Now, even, Jesus, even though Jesus was God, he walked on this earth as a man anointed by God. Amen? So everything that Jesus did, you can do. Do we believe that? Yes. yes. Alright, now, Luke chapter 10. Now remember, it's a process, okay? We're giving you a process so that you can do these things. Now, do you want to do the impossible? Do you want yes. to do great things? Yes. Okay. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. I do want to jump down to 19 and 21. And the 70 returns again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. We'll jump down to verse 19. Behold, and Jesus is talking, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, mm -hmm. notwithstanding. And this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, Jesus they saw Jesus doing miracles. Amen? Yes. And then what did Jesus do? He gave them the power yes. to go and do the miracles themselves. Amen? Yes. So, they had the ability to do it. Jesus gave it to them. And then what did they do when they had the ability? They went and did it. Amen? Yes. It's so sad when someone has talent. You can see someone who's really smart, or someone who has great athletic ability, or someone who has great music ability, and they sit on their gift and don't use it. It is so sad, it's a shame, and it's a waste. But if God has given it to you, if you have the ability, you should what? Use yes. it. Amen? All right. Now, turn with me, and we're going to continue on. Acts chapter 1. And 
course, you are never going to press A. Now, remember, remember the four minute model. It was a barrier that could, and some people believe it just could not be broken. But one day a man broke the four minute model, and then everyone was breaking it just like that. Mm -hmm. Amen? So they saw, once they saw him do it, they knew it could be done, and then they did it themselves. Amen? All right. Okay. And now don't get me wrong, those people did train. They trained, and they trained, and they trained, they trained hard. Because they knew they weren't training hard enough. I know it can be done because someone else can do it. So they developed their bodies in such a way that they were able to do it. They trained and trained so they got the ability to break the four minute mile. Amen? Okay. Now, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be my witnesses both unto uh, witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Amen? Amen. You shall receive power. Amen? Amen. Turn with me to John chapter 16. Now we've gone, the people have been here for a while. We've gone over these verses a lot. Um, John chapter 16, verse 13 through 15. I know we're going fast, but we're going somewhere. Amen? Amen. All right. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath of mine, therefore I said, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. Amen. Amen. Now, this is the way it's done if you want to do great things, if you want to do the impossible, if you want to do things that are, are just unexplainable. And it doesn't have to be in ministry, it can be in um, it can be in business, it can be in athletics, it can be in any area. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what happens is this. Jesus, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and the fire. And you get the ability do great things. Amen? Amen? And then by the Holy Spirit, He will lead you and show you what to do. Amen? Amen. Alright, so, the Holy Spirit is going to show you. Amen? He may show you in a dream. He may come to you in a vision. He may speak to your heart. So He's going to communicate to you through revelation what you can do for the Lord. He's already given you the ability. And then He's going to show it to you. And once He shows it to you, then you know that you can do it, amen? Amen. And that's the way it's done. Mm -hmm. Me and Alice, um, we live this. And I'm not saying that we are, you know, I'm not, I don't know what to say, but I'm not going to apologize for things that God's done. We have done, there's been so many miracles and signs and wonders in our ministry, even before we started the church. Mm -hmm. And what was happening was, give me an example. This is just one example. We had a young lady who had gone and um, all over the city, all over the state, and she had 13, we know we found on this lady, she had 13 demons. She was possessed with demons. And she was going to prophets, she was going to pastors, she was going to pastors' wives, she was going to all these churches from the state and the city to see if these demons could be cast out. But of course, it was kind of a setup because they couldn't cast out the demons. So the demons were going to really make a mockery of the people that she went to. So it really wasn't like they were trying to get cast out. It was just it was like a mockery, you know? Mm -hmm. So we crossed paths with this young girl. And um, long story short, all 13 demons were cast out. Mm -hmm. And of course she told us the sisters, she said, anybody, nobody could do it. I said, we were not, we were not, uh, we didn't have a ministry at the time, we were not pastors. Um, I don't know if we had a position in the church at the time, did we? We have been serving in different churches. We were elders at that time, okay? We were elders at a certain church. But, you know, we, met, we didn't meet her in the church. We met her on the street, all right? Mm -hmm. So this is outside the ministry. So we cast out the demons. She said that she could feel the demons inside of her. And these demons were talking. I hope I'm not scaring you. But they were talking, it's just a terrible situation. But anyway, the demons were cast out. They should feel the Holy Spirit. 
with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you've got the baptism of the Spirit, so you've got the real thing. Amen? Amen. So, these are just some of the things that happen. Um, another thing that happened, and this is person's my oldest son. And see, things that nobody else can do, things that people wouldn't believe it can be done, and so maybe God can do what Jesus can do, but God is saying that you can do this. Amen. Amen. And this is personal. My son, Alice brought my mom, I guess I'm like an old German boy, so maybe he was 12, 13, maybe he was 10, I don't know. But anyway, my son was, he was 10, my, uh, he was having some problems, so they took him to the doctor, and my wife brought him back and said, the doctor said he had scoliosis, there's no cure, he's going to get worse, he's going to be in a body brace, and give this whole terrible situation, this terrible picture. Now you notice my son, this is very personal. All right? Yeah. So, you know, me being a man of God, I just rebuked it. I didn't believe it. I, didn't re I just rebuked it, okay? Mm -hmm. But then my wife took his shirt off, and I saw the curvy shirt in his back. looked just like a snake. And I was shocked. And I said, Lord, I'm going to do this with my son. And the little power just hit me. And I just, I just popped him just like that in the name of Jesus. His back straightened up, went back to the doctor, no scoliosis. Amen. He's been fine ever since. Amen. The power of God. Things that nobody else can do, only that God can do. But he's looking for people who want to be used. Now, see, yeah. everybody don't want to be used. Some people just want to relax. And they just want to be, you know, well, you know, I'm a nice Christian. And I can just chill. I want a nice house. I want a nice car. I just want to chill out. And it's cool. That's what you want, okay? But I said, but some people. We really want to be used by God because God is looking for people. Amen? Yes. Now, some of these things you can't do on your own. But with Him, there's nothing impossible with you. Amen? That's right. And He is not a respectable person. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, the process. This is what will happen. You have to have the ability. Amen? And see, a lot of us really have dormant abilities that we really don't believe that we have. But we really do have, amen? But I'm talking about ability that only God can give. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And you will get that ability to do things that only God can do, amen? And these are all things only for us Christians because he has to trust you. This is not for the world. This is for Christians, ones who love him, ones that he can trust. Then by his Spirit, he will move you. And the Holy Spirit will give you revelation of how he wants to use you. Show you what you can do. And then you start walking and things of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. Is that simple? Yes. Amen. Now, remember what separated them in the Old Testament more than this, but what separated them in the Old Testament from the great things of God. It was their iniquity, it was their sin, and so much more. It kept them from God's ability. Amen? Mm -hmm. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And remember this, God is not a respectful person. Yeah, all right? right if you want it, it's for you. It's, it's so interesting, you know, in the corporate world, or when you go to school, they, the, the teacher really presents a class, he presents a subject, or even in your business, they present certain things, but they're really not presenting it to you. They have their own particular people they really want, and they really want to give it to.